Hey guys, it's Fine Bananas Rex here, and today we're going to be talking about slicing numbers in lists in within Python 3.3.2. Slicing is where you can like extract certain parts of a list uh, in certain different ways. And I'll show you a couple today. This isn't the most interesting video, but you need to know it really for particular things. I'll try and do a more interesting video afterwards, but for now you need to learn this. So. I put up the shell today instead of Eclipse because it's just easier to do it in the shell when you're doing little tutorials like this. So I'm just going to copy and paste something in really quickly because I cannot be bothered to type. But yeah, so we've got numbers here, which is a list and it's equal to 0, 2, 5. Now let me just make sure we have that set. Yep, we have it set perfectly. And basically, if you want to slice out or extract the numbers, say 2 and 3, they're in the middle, so we'll do them today. Uh, Put in numbers, and then don't know what an equal size you put two square brackets. Now, if you remember rightly, the first element of a list is always zero, and it's one, two, three, four, etc. That's why I put zero at the start, just so you guys could see it easier. I was a bit harder to understand if I start with one. But say you wanted to extract the numbers two and three, you would put element uh, two, which is number two, element four. And see, we get two and three in a list format that comes back. It's because element two is the first element, and element four is the last element. Now, it always includes the first element you select, but it does not include the last element. So, see, we selected two. It included two in our selection, but it didn't include four. But in, yeah, just keep that in mind so uh, you understand it better. Now, see, we have numbers zero to five. Most people would think. No, I'll do, I'll do the numbers, and I say two colon five, and that will give me the end. And what this gives you is numbers two to four because, you know, it's zero to five, or actually it's zero to six in element form. So what you need to do is numbers, and you need to put two square brackets, like this, and then it gives you for the first selection to the last selection. If you add one onto the end of whatever number you have, it will, it will print out the last element as well. Um, you can also do minus numbers. You can also count backwards. Say we wanted to extract numbers three and four, actually. That'd be a good one. Minus three, colon, minus one. Oh, not one, three. Minus three, colon, minus one. And you see that that's three and four because it counts backwards. I'm not going to bother showing you because you should understand what that means. Um, so you can also do well. People might think if you want to extract everything within a list, so if you want to just count backwards and include the last number, people will think you would do something like this. So people may think I don't know. So we extract minus three, two, and people normally put zero. Because they think, well, it's, it's the zeroth element of the list, so it should include it. But there can't be a minus zero. So whenever you put this in, see, it extracts nothing because the zeroth element, like, there isn't a minus zero, there's just a zero. So keep that in mind as well. I'm going to show you a quick way on how to fix this. So say you wanted to extract uh, the numbers. Oh, not numbers. Numbers. And you want to extract minus three or three to the end of the list. What you would do is you just leave this space here blank, and that way this just means carry on to the end of the list. Um, so we just press enter on this. You see it's three, which is what we said it should be, and then it carries on to whatever the end of the list is. This is a good feature as well. You need to remember this quite a lot because you'll be doing this quite a lot. If you have really long lists and you don't know what the last element is, you can use it like this. Well, actually, the best way is if you don't know what the first element is. So, if we just do this quickly: numbers, colon, and we do four. See, we get the first element in the list. So it goes to the first element just to a lot to whatever you declare here. So you can either do it behind, like uh, the second section or the first section, and either way you get different numbers. See, so you've got this from the start of the list to element three or four. Now, all you can also do is there's a quick shortcut which is just literally a colon, and this gets you the whole entire list, whatever list you put in. 
Obviously, you can just type in the in the shell. You can just type in a list, but when you're actually writing code, you can't. So yeah, this is a shortcut you need to remember as well. Now, I'm just going to do another quick list because it's easier with a bigger list. So we got this, and we just, it just goes from zero to nine instead. Enter that. Check we've got it. Yep, that's working fine. Now there's another function that you need to remember. So you put in numbers quickly. Say you wanted to. I'll show you quickly. Say we. Oh, oh, say we had this. This here. So it want zero there. So you had this here. Now what this does is this extra element on the end it means count up in twos. So it counts from zero to the ninth element, which is eight in twos. So we just enter that quickly. It starts at the first element, which is zero, or the zeroth element, and it counts up to the ninth element, which is eight, but it counts up in twos, so it's zero, two, four, six, eight. That's a really nice feature you need to quite remember for quite a few applications. I've used it a couple of times. Uh, you can also do minus numbers, so you want to count backwards. So let me say we did eight, zero, and uh, minus two, which count back counts back in twos. See, so we get eight to 642 which counts back in twos instead of counting up so if you put a minus number here it counts back instead of counting upwards I think the last thing I need to show you really is just this thing here so if we put two colons and then a two for example this includes the whole list and it counts up in twos so like so if we just entered this here See, it starts at zero, and it count it counts up to eight, which gives the same example as this. You can also do this minus numbers. So we put numbers, and we put colon colon minus two. Then it counts back from nine to one. So I think that's about it for slicing today. Just remember all these different methods that you can do and stuff. And I guess I'll be seeing you next time when I do another tutorial. So uh, bye.